Hey everybody, welcome to KBMP. I'm Carl, and I hope you enjoy this video about our recent camping trip at Wildwood Park in uh, Georgia and Columbia County, and a little bit of mountain biking at FATS, Forks Area Trail System. You! I was successful in uh, getting the uh, stay and play braking system put together, the Roadmaster wiring for the uh, Honda Fit, the Blue Ox uh, base plate, Blue Ox uh, towing system, uh, that came with this RV, uh, previous owner. But yeah, we're set. We've got our uh, stand-up paddle boards for the lake if it's warm enough. We've got our mountain bikes. It's supposed to be nice and cool next couple of mornings. So we are psyched and ready to go. All right, so we're on the road and uh, just a short five hours from now, I'm gonna assume six hours, uh, we'll be up at our campsite and uh, towing the Honda Fit. Yeah. Hopefully uh, that'll all work out. We won't destroy the transmission. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I didn't know about that part here. <laughs> nice temperature we're enjoying ourselves you can see we're right here on a finger of the lake we did bring our stand-up paddle board so if it gets warm enough we'll have to check that out the one thing about this spot maybe wasn't the best choice is that we're pretty close to uh, the uh, the boat ramp so it could have a lot of boat uh, traffic in and out of here so far it's beautiful nice tree coverage great temperature towing the Honda fit it did really well so we towed it for five hours and uh, no problem with the battery, it cranked right up. And uh, they say if you have eight hour drives, you need to pull up the accessory fuse, 30 amp fuse, so you don't wear your battery down too quickly. Or um, actually do a setup with uh, a battery charger from the um, RV. There's a charging system you can buy. And I'm gonna look into that for uh, longer days. So, but anyway, the site is, uh, as you can see, is very level. This is campsite 18, and it's high and dry. Got your water and electric hookup right here, and there's a dump station on the way out. Fire pit back here. There's the lake. The main part of the lake is out that way. The next morning. All right, good morning. We just woke up and uh, grabbed our gear. We're headed out of the Wildwood Park camping area to go mountain bike over at Fats, also known as the Forks Area Trail System. Pepper, you excited? Pepper is super excited to go mountain biking. Super because deeper. He loves it. In fact, he was so excited he didn't eat his breakfast this morning. Life is harder than I like to think, but it's easy when you're by my side. No point in calling, you just have to see. The fundamentals of our life tonight Cause I've been looking at it for Three hours later Directions to fried chicken <laughs> Here we go Maryland fried chicken 1.8 miles Isolation got me feeling like I'm moving my life You when I wake Fried chicken craving satisfied.
Yeah, yeah. Probably should. It's got electrolytes. That's what you crave. terrified of gas, but every time I turn this on, it freaks me out. Moments later. Mm. Make sure your gas is turned on first. Few moments later. Moments later. I hate gas. Oh, mother freaker! I hate you. you okay, huh? I'm just. I hate this stupid gas. Twenty minutes later. Okay, so making some grilled cheese with tuna for maximum protein. One grilled cheese down, one to go. Oh, you know one thing about this campground that I have noticed is that when the water first comes out, it's like a yellowish color. So I'm not sure if that's rust or, or what. Hopefully it's just some kind of rust in the, uh, in the wells that they use. But yeah, we use our Brita filter water. We have a filter actually on our RV setup, and then I also filter it in our container before we use it for eating, drinking, cooking. That's what we do. So I mentioned this corner right here where the microwave sticks out. I think what I'm going to do is pad that because I'm tall, and every time I go to cook, luckily today I'm wearing a hat, so it prevents me from hitting my head on it but normally I'm not wearing a hat when I'm cooking and I end up hitting this corner a lot it's probably not a problem if you're like that tall but <laughs> you would have to be like five feet tall I think because I'm about five eight sunglasses permission to come aboard oh you did that to yourself you do that <laughs>
I'm gonna eat this and then take them for Okay, so this is at the Florida border coming in from Georgia. And be prepared to stop if you're not from Florida. Possibly if you're from a hot zone, you're going to get pulled over to the side and have to fill out some paperwork. Hey everybody, we're back from our trip to Wildwood Park. Camping at uh, Wildwood Park was, was great. Very mm -hmm. good close proximity to Clarks Hill Lake, the Savannah River, uh, which made for some good uh, paddle boarding and swimming with uh, Pepper, our border collie. So Wildwood Park is uh, located in Appling, uh, Georgia. It's a small town outside of Augusta. It's a 75 acre park mm -hmm. um, situated on a uh, 72,000 acre uh, lake, the Clarks Hill uh, Lake. Brenda, what did you like about Wildwood Park? I loved everything about Wildwood Park. I loved the price, which was $22. I loved that it was very spacious, had a big lake. I liked that all the campsites were very level um, and right on the water. I mean, we were basically, if we were any closer, we'd be in the water. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, $22 a night was a great price, but mm -hmm. that's a uh, uh, senior discount if you're 55 or older. Otherwise, I think it's $25 a night, so it's really inexpensive for, electric, inexpensive for electric and water hookup. Yeah, and there was a full dump station, which was brand new, and it was like two lanes dump station. So Yeah, they, uh, they have a lot going on there. Uh, boating and fishing is really popular. Um, they host uh, big uh, fishing uh, tournaments there and they've got a six mega lane uh, boat ramp and we saw that in the action one yeah. evening uh, for a tournament. It was pretty awesome watching all the boats take off uh, out into the actually it was actually getting late so it was interesting that they were going fishing that late in the evening. Yeah there, so there's 61 uh, campsites mm -hmm. um, with electric and water hookup and the camping area we were at we were in campsite 18 mm -hmm the sites were pretty close to the water. What was nice is there was a sand, little sand beach there yes. that we could walk Pepper down to the water and we could paddle out with our stand-up paddle boards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, uh, of course, we were there to camp and then go mountain biking at mm -hmm. Fats. Uh, the Forks area trail system was only uh, half an hour away, but there were trails going through the park as yes. well. Yes, there were plenty of miles of uh, multi-use, basically bike and hiking trails right there that also went around the lake so it was yeah. very enjoyable yeah I mean uh, Bartram Trail um, goes mm -hmm. right through there um, we didn't ride it but uh, but seriously if you're there to go mountain biking you're gonna go to, to, fats, gonna go to fats the Forks area yeah. trail system if you're interested in seeing more mountain biking at fats please be sure to watch that video so if you're looking for things to do around the campsite other than just you know have a fire or be in your campground there's not a whole lot around the campsite for at least a good 15 miles I mean you have to go into town um, which is at least a good 20 to 30 minutes away except for the one restaurant which is Maryland fried chicken that we found out the day Carl had his fried chicken craving. Yeah, the, the day we that we both had the fried chicken craving. No, Carl had which the is, fried chicken <laughs> craving. Which was right after our first uh, day mountain biking. I um, had a, a serious craving for fried chicken. All right, until we see you next time. Until we see you next time.
not really flowing like it normally does. No, maybe we should just drink more. It's probably, I don't think it's, the Bartram Trail, <laughs> the Bartram Trail goes <laughs> through there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Bartram Trail goes through there. The Bartram Trail goes yes. through there. Yes. I look like I'm really tall. You are really tall. I'm only four nine, and Brenda is six three. <laughs> oh my God! Why do I look so tall and you look like you're way down there? Because you're sitting on your foot. I'm not really sitting on my foot. I'm sitting on my butt. My foot is just tucked under my leg. And there you go. Until we see you next time. Happy trails. <laughs>